Hey, this is Jim with Diesel Geek, and today we're going to do a shifter alignment on a stock shifter with a car with a broken locking pin on the transmission. So if your locking pin, your L-shaped locking pin, is broken, you can do your shifter alignment without it. Here's how you do it. The first step is you're going to go ahead and pin the transmission with a suitable 5 millimeter pin, and the tighter the fit, the better. We had a video on the five millimeter pins um, that you should watch. So we're gonna go ahead and pin the shifter and then we're gonna go out to the engine bay. We're gonna unlock both of the cable ends, but you pull the knurled ring against the spring and then turn it and it locks it to where the fingers are open on both cable ends. <clears throat> and then right here, the stock or the normal position of the shifter is the third and fourth gear gate. So this is third gear and this is fourth gear right here. So we're gonna go down, to do this shifter alignment without the locking pin, we're gonna go down, we're gonna go down a little bit, about a quarter of an inch. Then we're gonna rotate it counterclockwise. And after we do that, we're gonna push down on the chrome weight, on the chrome front to back bracket and then we're going to release the cable end on the side to side, which is the upper cable end. All right. And then we're going to rotate the shifter back into neutral, which is clockwise. And then we're going to let go of the cable end at that point. And we're going to going to stay here and then I'm going to go take the pin out of the transmission and check the shifter. So that's how you adjust the shifter with a broken L-shaped locking pin. The locking pin is right here. And so if your locking pin has been sheared off by not uh, paying attention and trying to um, tighten something or do something and you know without it unlocked, you can still do the shifter alignment without it. That's it.